Good morning, Bulldogs. This is Tayana Hill with your K-9 News. We have many seniors with bright futures. Let's head to them to find out more about it. Hello, Bulldogs. This is Evan Haynes signing on with your K-9 News. As you all know, the 2014 school year is coming to an end, and all the seniors will graduate. Let us go to the seniors and see how they feel about all this. Um, to make sure that I'm prepared for graduation, I'm making sure all my grades stay up and that my GPA stands up and that senior dues are paid and that um, I'm cleared as far as all my fines. And as far as college goes, I expect to meet new people. Um, I'm excited to declare my major and start learning in a specific field of study because in high school you kind of learn a general range. But Yes, I'm very ready to graduate, you know, start a new chapter in my life. I'll be going to Catawba College to get a great education and also participate in athletics there also. I think I have changed since freshman year. I believe I'm more outgoing and yes, I'm a little bit more mature. With there being a wide variety of colleges in the U.S., let's see which ones our fellow Bulldogs choose to attend. I'm going to Mitchell's Cosmetology School. I'm going to North Carolina a t State University. I'm either going to Elizabeth City, Winston-Salem, or UNCP. I'm going to Wake Forest University. Woo! Dickens, woo! I'm ready to graduate from Southeast Raleigh Magnet High School. It has been so long, so ready to go. I love y'all, but I gotta go. Um, some things that I will take from Southeast, great leadership qualities and communication skills. Um, being at Southeast has allowed me to reach my full potential as the person I am today. Um, it has gave me, that, I guess you can say, that extra push into who I want to become. Um, I learned great, great, great life tools from my teachers, peers, and basically, I enjoy my time here at Southeast. Well, the Bulldogs, it's been a wonderful year. Let us end it strong. This is Evan Haynes signing out with your K9 News. been saying the play since we were in kindergarten, but do you know what it means? Let's head to DeAndre and Matt with more on the subject. This is DeAndre and Matt signing in with your K9 News. Here at Southeast, we begin in late by saying the pledge. We all stand for it, but some of us don't even know what it means. Let's see how some teachers and students feel about saying the pledge. Being made to say the Pledge of Allegiance, it's pretty much to promote the nationalism or whatever, the support of American troops and the American idea. So it's not overall a bad thing, but being made to say it, of course, there's going to be those some people who don't want to get up and say it. So it's pretty much just a choice of free will and everything. But being made to, it's whatever. Well, to me, I think it's just a pledge. You only got to say it one time. You got to say it multiple times. But it's like a respect thing for the troops. So. I don't say it. I feel honored to say the privileges. Because a lot of people fought for us and I feel like it's a respect a respectable thing to say. I think that uh, I think that students, people, everyone should uh, should say the Pledge of Allegiance, but that it shouldn't necessarily be out of force or something like that, but that you say the Pledge of Allegiance because of what it means and what you as a as a person and you as an American mean and who you are. Now you see how some students and teachers feel about saying the pledge. This is DeAndre and Max signing out with your K9.
That's it for this week's K9 News. There's only four weeks left, so let's finish strong. This is Tayana Hill signing out with your K9 News.